Hi. In this video, we will see how to run a Perl script on server using uh, cPanel. So first of all, we have to log in into our cPanel account, and we have to supply our credential, and then so we are logged in our cPanel. And let's say we want to run this simple Perl program, which is going to print a "Welcome to Perl" in heading tag. And this first line it will specify where Perl is stored. So in maximum uh, Linux server, this is the path in US a user directory bin Perl. So this is the path we have to specify. So it will be used to execute our Perl program. So uh, what I am going to do is that uh, in order to execute that program, go in File Manager, Public HTML, and all your Perl program has to be uploaded in CGI and a uh, hyphen bin. So uh, in this directory, we are going to upload all our Perl file. So this is the directory we are going to upload. So let's say we will upload. Uh, we will select our file. So our file is two dot pl. So our file is actually uploaded. Now what we are going to do? We are going to run this file. So how to run? Jigya, uh, this is the web website I'm uh, using. So here we have to write CGI bin and then name of the file. So when you run this program, uh, you will see this error, internal server error, and this error actually from the server side. From client side there is no issue, but from server side there are some issues. So what is the problem with this one? So first thing is that. Uh, we have to change this program. How? What changes we have to make? So first of all, go to edit mode for this file, and here specify minus w flag. This is the first change we have to do. Second change, we have to print. We have to specify what type of content we are going to send. So content type in content type we will send text or HTML. After this one, we will specify to new line. So these are the change we are making. So now this part is done. Next thing, what we have to do, we have to change permission for this file. So we will uh, right click on this file. We will go in change permission. And here, if you can see, these permission are 644. So it is not allowing to execute. So we will make them 755. So we will give this execute permission to everyone. Okay. So now we will again rerun this program. Okay. So our program is executed. Thank you very much for watching.